Hey guys, welcome to the Weavester 18 channel. It is January 13th, 2020. And it is day five already of the Weavester channel. Uh, got my purple purple on for the Weavester, Team Sedell. And the back there, in the back you can see the old weave. The old weave made a a drawing of me. I was the I was the unicorn, the magical unicorn. Steven, I don't know how you got that one, but you pulled that one off. <laughs> Not too magical. But uh sorry I'm late guys. <coughs> Excuse me. I had to go to the uh, to the hospital. I, I get a, a three month infusion. I have a uh, in um, intestinal problem, ulcerative colitis, and uh, I need this this drug every three months to keep me in remission. It's been five years battling this, but I've been in remission for for about three years, and it's I'm thankful for the doctors and, and the medicine that um, and the nurses that that you know are helping me in that situation. Thankful, guys, right? Thankful. It's a word we all we all need to appreciate. Thankful. What are we thankful of? We're thankful of all our senses, right? The sense of smell. The sense of sight. Hearing, taste, okay, feeling, being able to feel something soft, okay, rough. We're all thankful for that. Our arms, our legs, fingers, Hands, feet, toes, thankful that we all have this, these parts of ourselves. Thank you, thankful for that. Being able to speak, right? Communicate between people. What I'm doing right now, being able to speak, we're thankful for that. So many people out there in this world, millions of people, don't have some of these, don't have sight, can't hear, or some people have been devastated by a, a fire, burnt, scarred. I pray every morning, I pray every night and say I'm thankful to have what I have, to pray for the people that don't have this, that have suffered through stuff. People ask me, they say, Paul, you know, Paul, you went through a lot. You know, how, how, how do you stay happy? Weren't, weren't you sad? Weren't you mad when your son passed away? When you found out he was sick? When you found out he was going to die? Sure. Sure, I'm very, very sad about it. I miss him every day. But I turned a negative into a positive. I look at the doctors, the nurses, that gave him the extra time to be here. The memories, what he did, the community, how everyone stuck together and helped this boy. Our family, they helped our family. Family, excuse me. I'm thankful for all of that. Okay? It's hard. It's so hard. 
but you have to look at what you're thankful. My parents, I'm thankful for my parents. My father, 88. My mother, 85. Okay? Still living. Still healthy. My my wife, Mama Weave, lost her parents. Father, 60. Mother, 69. She was thankful for the time she had with them. She misses them, of course. But she's thankful she had the photos, the videos, and the time that's in the heart. It stays in the heart and the memory you have of these people. So guys, when you wake up, when you go to bed, say a prayer. I'm Catholic. I don't know your faith. You can believe in whatever you believe in. But just say something for the people out there in memory of them, knowing that you need to be thankful for what you have. I'm thankful every day I get up, I get out of bed, and I'm thankful I can step out of that bed, walk outside, and hear the cars, the birds, smell the grass. I'm thankful. Guys, it's day five now. We have the drawings. There was five drawings that came in. All tremendous again. I have nothing to say, but great our artists out there, guys. You're all great. Unfortunately, three move on and two won't. This drawing, I love, I love everything about it. There's character. Sort of three-dimensional. Um, little little heart under the nose with a little S. I'm sure that's for the uh, weavester there, Stephen. Scuba diver. Bubbles coming up. Only thing is the lack of color. More detail on the body, the tail. Jackson Smith. Another great drawing here. Same as Jackson, just a little light. Details a little weak. I like I like the fish you put there. And it also says, here we go. Uh, I'm thankful for these. For my <laughs> Don't get old, guys. Don't get old. I'm thankful the, for the old specs. Brock the Basking Shark. That's that's the title. And yeah, that's a good thing. You could title these these drawings. Brock the Basking Shark. Okay, he's got a little fish. He's got a pile of whatever it is um, on the bottom of the ocean there. And uh, again, just detail, coloring, coloring. You know, you could add a bunch of stuff to the background. The main objective is the shark. Detail on that shark. Detail, detail. Uh, character, everything. So, Gage Davis. Thank you, Gage, for submitting that. Two awesome drawings. I wish I could put them up top, guys. Now, third place comes from uh, a gentleman sent his uh, the other day. Uh, this is from his fiance. Her name is Elizabeth Perot, P A R R O T T. I hope I pronounce that properly. A lot of color, beautiful. A lot of background, a uh, little be kind with the heart. I love that. We all could use, could be, be kind. 
Elizabeth, the only thing is the lack of detail in the, the actual basking shark. I like the mouth. And again, I like all the fish behind. You got Finding Nemo on the left, on the one side there. A lot of seaweed, seaweed, seahorses, octopi, sea turtles. I love all that. I love it. Just a little more detail on that shark. A little more character on the shark. But third place, day five, is Elizabeth. And congratulations to you guys. May you live a long and happy life together. Second place, day five. Again, a lot of color. Nice background at the sky. Shark, the, the actual shark, a little more detail than the previous Elizabeth's drawing. More shading, the tail more shading, the mouth detailed, the eye larger. I like the expression. I like expression in a drawing showing like almost what they're thinking, right? Second place, day five, is Diggy, DG Spy. Okay, first place, day five. As soon as I received this email with this drawing, I was attracted to it. It has character. It has personality. The eyes are popping out. The mouth is detailed. The tail is kind of funky. It, it wraps kind of divides in two it has a little face on the tip a little smile <laughs> got little hands it looks like um and here's the thing there's nothing around it there's no extras but the great detail in the basking shark and the color and just everything about it made me pick it for first place for day five so Great job, Ellie tried. She tried and she did well, or he did well. Okay, guys, so that's the top three, and they will move on. They're going to move on to... Uh, to the end of the month, and we'll we'll see where they get with the uh, the top three of the the two month period. So, guys, listen, that's it for today. Um, hit the description box below. Uh, you can you can find my link to my Instagram, and uh, send all your photos, your drawings, to um, my email. That's also linked below, and I hope we get a bunch of them. Kind of nice the way we're having it, about five a day, um, and get people to sub to subscribe. I know the the views are kind of down, the the subscribers are going down, but that's fine. Um, we work together, we'll get more subscribers. So guys, one day at a time. Remember, um, if you don't know what to do, Google it, <laughs> thumbs up, and Hit the like button. Great ratios we have, by the way, too, on uh, likes to dislikes. Keep that up, guys. And as always, keep strong, guys. Be thankful. And I will see you all on Wednesday. Peace out.